yes, yeah, so I play a character who's like the greatest sleight of hand magician in the world, and he is. Um, Mm, he's a guy who'd been practicing his magic since he was like five years old every day for eight hours So he has like kind of developed an attitude of Superiority because he's earned the right to think he's the best because he is and so it's kind of fun to play that because it gets you You know allows you to like live out the fantasy of feeling like you're great at something uh, If you deny yourself feeling that in your own life. I learned some tricks that I guess I practiced enough to the point that a year after I still kind of re retain some like muscle memory when we're performing these shows, because we play these magicians who perform these big shows, uh, you know, it feels like original and fresh, and even over the course of like weeks of shooting the same show, it still kind of feels like uh, interesting to us. Yeah, right, so there's these, I guess, abandoned warehouses in Queens called Five Points, where they let a, you know, they let graffiti artists tag it legally, and the art there is incredible, and I'm from Queens, and so I would pass it all the time, and uh, yeah, to be able to shoot there, we filmed on the roof of this building. Um, it was like incredible, especially because it's, I think um, probably uh, vulnerable to whatever thing is going to be moving in there, like a high rise. Yeah, it's strange to film a movie in the city in which you live because it gives you the false illusion that you're really like in control because they block off streets and then the next day when there's no movie or food on the street, you realize that you're not only fending for yourself, but it's the scariest city in the world.